Now, days after the government had banned PUBG Mobile and several other apps last year, actor Akshay Kumar had put out a teaser for an action game called Forgy, built by serial entrepreneur Vishal Gondal's Encore Games that would depict scenarios faced by the Indian Armed Forces. Well, the game has now been launched on Play Store for Android users. And while Play Store shows that the app has already seen over 1 million downloads in a day, the company says the number has in fact touched 5 million downloads. To discuss this more, we have Vishal Gondal, co-founder Encore Games, and my colleague Megha is also joining in. Uh, Vishal, welcome on the show. Uh, you know, first time I wanted to ask you, uh, when we had you last year when this game was announced, you said that it would be launched in October. Uh, was there any delay or were you waiting to launch it on Republic Day? No, actually, we were looking to launch it in December. Uh, and at that point of time, we decided a better day to launch it is 26 January. So, yeah, it was delayed from December to January. All right. Uh, can you take us over, uh, Vishal, what the initial response has been? Uh, Play Store, of course, reflects that you have 1 million plus downloads uh, already, and that's in less than 24 hours. Uh, but uh, talk to us about the kind of reviews that you've been getting. What are real users telling you? So uh, uh, we just tweeted some time back that we are now the number one free game in India, crossed over approximately 5 million downloads and going strong. Uh, clearly, we are seeing a lot of interest in Make in India content. And I think if you remember when we spoke, I told you that what Indian gamers wanted was Indian stories, Indian themes, and content in games they can associate with. So far, they've been playing Chinese, Japanese, Korean, American games, while those games were great, but they are not themes you and I are passionate about. So Forgy is really the first such game which we launched. Of course, the first version, as we mentioned, would be in the story mode where we are telling the story of Galwan Valley and what happened there. Uh, we will be launching uh, our PvP mode and Battle Royale mode in the next, uh, through, through this year. So I think the, the question of disappointment really from people is to the extent of people wanting uh, Battle Royale and multiplayer on day one. Uh, we are definitely cognizant of it and we are working on it. but. I didn't want to rush everything and launch it on day one and then have issues on the product. So we are going to take it slow, but we are going to build a, a very, very solid game. Okay, so the reviews are already coming in. Vishal, I want to talk to you about monetization of the app. You know, you had uh, said last year that 20% of this net revenue that will be generated will be donated to the Bharat Ke Veer Trust. Now, about the monetization aspect, you know, you were among the uh, many people who had protested against Google's 30% commission on all in-app purchases, which will also impact gaming apps like uh, 4G. Uh, now that the game has been launched, what are the discussions you're uh, having with Google? So clearly, as of now, Google is taking the 30% cut uh, because that that uh, the 30% the cut was also talking about other categories. Gaming is certainly a category where they are currently taking 30%. And that's where, by the way, bulk of our revenues are coming in. We are not as as much focused on advertising or ad-based revenue. For 4G, the revenue will be coming in form of in-app purchases. And currently, uh, whatever in-app purchases are made on 4G, uh, we get 70% and Google takes 30%. Uh, Vishal, this is Megha. Yeah, I want to jump in again quickly to understand on, and pick up on something that you said uh, earlier. Uh, the fact that so far uh, users are used to Chinese or Japanese games and the theme of these games is not something that Indian users are passionate about. However, they did have a loyal uh, fan following for these applications. They were hooked on these platforms. Uh, so clearly there was some amount of passion. If you're looking to replace that for the Indian users, what exactly are you going to be building? Because at the end of the day, uh, uh, the initial downloads is coming from an initial response, but stickiness is going to be built based on how good the product is eventually. So what are you doing on that front? So I think we're talking about two things. So first is around content. And we all know, mm. I mean, just look at Amazon Prime and Netflix, while they also came with shows like Narcos and all their international shows, which are at very high quality, but at the end of the day, the masses in India want to see Indian shows and Indian movies on even the OTT platforms. Uh, even in China, for that matter, the local Chinese games around Chinese themes do better. Same is the case in Korea. Same is the case in America. So I think the question of when it comes to entertainment content, local content 
and always wins. And I think if the best example in India is Ludo King, uh, you know, Ludo King is number one in India. And if you look at outside of Ludo King, there is nothing else. Uh, and we all in India have go, grown playing Ludo. So that is as far as the content or the local content is concerned. But as far as the game itself and the technology itself is concerned, clearly there is no compromise. And we have some of the best teams working with us. And we are confident that, uh, you know, when it comes to finally the game play, the game design, uh, we will be, One you know, on or possibly better than anybody else. Okay. Uh uh, Vishal, you know, just before we wrap up, uh, uh, you, you said that Google has already started taking a 30% commission. But, you know, when I was checking the compliance guidelines by Google, which I, it had put out late last year, they had said that all new and existing apps in India have to comply only by March of 2022. So are you telling me that they've already started taking the 30% commission? No, this was outside gaming. The app store, by the way, you know, the history of app store, gaming apps were actually the first ones that has been going for years. So gaming was always uh, already there. I think the the what Google was trying to introduce was this same 30% for other apps like education, health, etc. So I think uh, the gaming 30% and what they take from other digital uh, digital apps is already there. So that has not changed. It's already being charged at 30%. All right, Vishal, thank you for clarifying that. And many thanks for uh, joining us today on the show.